So today I'm in Glen Rose, Texas. This charming town with its impressive stone buildings is located about an hour southwest of the Fort Worth area. This was first settled in the mid 1800s by Charles Bernard and he built a store and later a flour and grist mill here. You can visit Bernard's Mill today as it is now part of a museum here in town. Around the year 1900, the mineral wells of Glen Rose attracted many people who believed the water here had healing powers. Later during the prohibition years, this town was known as the Whiskey Woods capital of the state. Well, what makes this town famous? are the dinosaur tracks near here. And you can see those at Dinosaur Valley State Park. These are in a rock unit known as the Glen Rose Formation of Cretaceous Age. Plenty of places for shopping right here on the square. Right next to the courthouse, you see an impressive collection of fossils. Look at that, there's a dinosaur track. See some petrified wood. Here we've got an ammonite. Pretty cool. And this is the Somerville County Museum. Right here on the main square. There's a little information about the dinosaur tracks nearby. Ooh, looks like we've got a dinosaur track. Wow. More dinosaur tracks yet to come. So here in the back are some mammoth bones found locally. And just above that is a fascinating article from Geographic Magazine, 1954, featured Glen Rose. And here are some interesting photos from that time. They excavated dinosaur tracks and sent them to a museum in New York City. And from what the gentleman at the museum told me, this display is still intact to this day. So now we're here at Bernard's Mill, built in 1860 by the first settler of Glen Rose, Charles Bernard. This may be the most beautiful building in the entire town. You just gotta love these old stone structures. Oh yeah, looks like my kind of place right here. I can already smell it. Now I've already got my sugar rush, but I bet that's pretty good too. Right here on the square.
So about a quarter mile from the town square is the Paluxy Heritage Park. And they've got a nice collection of vintage homes here for you to enjoy. This is the Captain J.J. Farhouse, built in the 1870s. So this is the Wheeler Epps McMahon cabin, built in the 1860s to 1870s. Next we have the Lanham Mill Schoolhouse, built in 1901. Right in the middle of all these old structures, in a little low spot here, is a little spring bubbling out of the ground. Just outside Dinosaur Valley State Park is Dinosaur World. And this is a model of the dinosaur whose tracks you can see at the state park. Inside the museum you can see real fossils. This is a trilobite. He's actually went extinct before the dinosaurs. Here's an ammonite, a very common fossil found in Cretaceous rocks around North Texas. So if you're in Glen Rose, I highly recommend going to the Fossil Rim Wildlife Center. This is a very large facility with lots of African wildlife for you to drive through and see up close. You can even feed them. There are a lot of little parks like this across Texas, but this is definitely one of the better ones. So I was originally planning on recording two videos here in Glen Rose, one of the town itself and then the other of Dinosaur Valley State Park. Well, we're not gonna be able to do one at the park today. This spring has been very difficult for recording YouTube videos. Just rain, rain, rain. So we'll come back some other time and get a video of this beautiful state park. This is Big Rocks Park. The water was up a little bit earlier today, but now it's up big time. That just about sums up my 2021 so far for recording YouTube videos.